calculus mathematics. Uh, so when we're talking about calculus, uh, the first thing we need to do is obviously find the slope of a line or the area of a rectangle. So those are things that you guys have been doing for quite some time, so it shouldn't be any new math. You know, if you have weaknesses on either of those things, just make sure that you understand a little bit how to find area of uh, simple basic shapes and also slopes of lines. The second stage we're going to do is the limit process, and we'll get further into this, of course, uh, later in this chapter. But uh, after we learn how to use the limit process, this, the third stage is new calculus formulation, such as a derivative or an integral. So that's really where our, our new math comes in when we're using these derivatives or in, and integrals. So as you can see in our process here, pre-calculus mathematics comes first, and then we're going to use the limit process, and that's going to develop our calculus. Some students try to learn uh, calculus as if they were simply a collection of new formulas. Uh, however, this is unfortunate. If you reduce calculus to the memorization of differentiation and integration formulas, you'll miss a great deal of understanding, self-confidence, and satisfaction. So really, uh, you know, some students just kind of look at a formula sheet and try to memorize the formulas, but it's more important, especially on the AP exam, that you understand how to use those because they're going to ask some tricky questions. So the more depth you can get in the concept, the better you're going to do. Some familiar pre-calculus concepts coupled with their calculus ca counterparts are going to be on the next slide here. So a slope of a line, you guys have been doing that uh, quite some time, the change in X, change in Y. And then, of course, as you can see, we're talking about the slope of a curve now. So a little bit different for us. Um, we're going to have to learn how to do this, and we're going to learn to do this through calculus. Uh, the secant line of a curve, the tangent line of a curve, uh, the average rate of change, the instantaneous rate of change. So to figure out how far, how fast is the car traveling at a specific moment in time. So let's see if there's some other ones here. So uh, we'll talk about the tangent line problem here in just a little bit.